It's your boy T Bunny makes bucks with another lit lit live reaction, man. Today we reacted to YSL Woody crashed out and a miss to shooting rich homie Quan's dad. So if you don't know who the hell YSL Woody is, you know what I'm saying? He's one of allegedly one of Thug's hitters, staples, you know what I'm saying? Like he just thugs them put them put them in songs and everything. Um, you know what I'm saying? Saying that, you know, Woody will get at you. You know what I mean? So, uh, we, you know what I'm saying? He been, he, he basically has immunity, um, on his trial. So he's, uh, really spilling the beans on a lot of stuff that happened. You know what I'm saying? The trial that they, the prosecutor has been asking him. That you told Detective Thorpe during this January 11, 2000 interview that, after Kel punched you in your head, that other mem other individuals also began to jump on you as well. I don't recall what I don't told the police. And also <laughs> in that same interview, is it true? You go hear a lot of I do not recall. You know, say uh, not tell her the he 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 finessing the court. That's all he doing for real. Yes, you told um, Detective Thorpe that after they jumped on you, you ran outside of the club to get with. <laughs> Did you? Is it true? He asked the question to get what? We know what you try to get. You told Detective Thorpe that after they jumped on you, you ran outside of the club. I ain't doing no running. Hey, what he say? And is it true that after you, after you, after you ran outside of the club, that you told Detective Thorpe? I ain't doing no running, um, Miss Hilt. Okay. He ain't doing no running, standing on business, man. He uh, he said what he said. He said what he said. He ain't doing no type of running, staying on business. It was a lie, and today I'm telling you, I made things up. Okay. That so, is the God and His truth. So, is it your testimony today that there wasn't that you were not aware of a meeting? A, that you were the subject my, you wanted my, to kill you? My answer is I don't recall nothing. I don't told the detective. So, okay. and I'm telling you, whatever I did tell him, I was making it up. Okay. It don't take a rocket science to figure it out. Right. Did you also? He do not recall. And whatever he did say he did, he was making that up too. And he and, and make sure I got my immunity. <laughs> He he done finessed the court the right way, uh. He said, look, whatever I said I said I did, I don't recall. And if I do recall it, I forgot what really happened. I probably lied back then. <laughs> Tell Detective Thorpe about a show at a gambling house in Lakewood. Huh? Isn't it true that you also Huh? <laughs> Young, you say nothing I say can be used against me. That's right. Got that beauty. You heard what she said, right? Me and Threat shot up Rich on McCoy and Daddy Barbershop on Bankhead. I don't know what happened with Threat and Rich on McCoy, but I'm going to ride with my brother. Oh, uh, we going you know I mean? we got, we, we going back. We about to go back because right there is right when, when everything dropped. That's when he dropped the mic on them. And... They had some more stuff going on, like. Was threat at the gambling house when it got shot up by Kel? Young, you say nothing I say can be used against me? That's right. Me and Threat shot up Rich on McCoy and Daddy Barbershop on Bankhead. I don't know what happened with Threat and Rich on McCoy, but I'm going to ride with my brother. And they was beefing. And... Yeah, we pulled up and did it. Okay. Damn, right there. Dropped the mic. She said, okay, that's what we need. I think that might be Fonnie Willis. She said, okay, that's what we need. She put, he said, yeah, we pulled up the bank head and did that. Yeah. And as a result of why did you and Threat shoot a rich homie Quan Daddy's barber shop? Because I'm a ride with Threat. Okay. Did Threat tell you why he was shooting? I don't ask no question. I just said, let go. Mm. Man, ask no questions. Spin. 
And when Rich Homie Quad's barber shop was shot up, was that in September of 2014? Do you I don't, remember? I don't know when. I know we went up there and shot it up. Okay. Was it before <laughs> Nut was killed? Yes. And they is not playing. Hey, with one thing I know, your boy YSL Woody is not playing about threat. You know what I'm saying? He said, I don't know when, but yeah, we pulled up and did that. We shot it up. Standing on business. Gang was standing on business. Threat shot up. Rich homie Quan's daddy's barber shop. What you mean? Do you remember that day? What what led up to you going to the barber shop and shooting it up? I told him they go do it. What led up to you saying let's go do it? Why? Threat was mad. He was like he fucking keep scaring my name. He he was talking. Do you need playing like like we somebody to play with? And I was ready. I had them choppers on deck. Mm. Why was Threat beefing with Rich Homie Quan to shoot up his daddy's shop? Um. I'm... Cause we didn't know where he was. So did you go to you tell man? Hey, what are you getting frustrated now? You asked him too many questions. He done exposed too much. You know what I'm saying? He said he had them choppers on deck and we was ready to pull up and bankhead and do that. The shop looking for Rich Homie Quan. Nah, we went to send a message. Mm. Message. What time did you go and shoot up? I ain't telling you that. Okay. Was it a Man, there you have it. YSL Woody on the YSL Young Thug trial. Telling him whatever he wanted to tell him. With the immunity. Yeah, we pulled up and did that. We spun the block with the and bankhead. Had the choppers on deck, and we had to send that message. Man, leave in the chat if you think Doug ever gonna see the light of day. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, sub up, hit the bell, stay notified. Make sure you hit the run them likes up, y'all. Run, run them likes up. It's your boy T Money Makes Bucks with another lit lit live reaction, and I'm out. One.